Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to answer your questions, starting with a question about serious side effects in seniors. Doc. Claudia writes, my friend and I are fully vaccinated. We're 67 and 63 years old. Now, just recently, we were both experiencing heart problems. I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the vaccine. We both received Pfizer. There's no history in my family of heart problems and some in her family. So, Claudia, while there have been very rare reports of heart inflammation in younger people receiving the mRNA vaccines, there have not been any such reports in older adults. Now, here are more of your questions. A viewer asks, I'm fully vaccinated. Since at this time it's considered safe to go to a restaurant, for example, without wearing a mask, why are masks required to enter medical clinics and medical facilities and the staff is still wearing masks? Every business can set their own policy regarding mask use. Medical facilities pose a unique situation because there are likely to be many higher-risk individuals entering a medical facility, including those that may not be fully protected, even if they are vaccinated. It's also more likely that someone sick with COVID would be going to see a medical provider than going to a restaurant, for example. Until community levels of COVID transmission are consistently very low, you can expect a mask requirement in medical facilities. Christine asks, when will the more traditional Novavax be available for my three teens? I'm very concerned about the mRNA technology. What is the update about the heart issue in males with the Pfizer vaccine? Novavax says it plans to submit its data to apply for an emergency use authorization to the FDA this fall. The review would then take a few weeks after that. The CDC continues to track and investigate any reports of heart inflammation following vaccination. According to the CDC, for every 1 million second doses of COVID-19 vaccine, there have been about 67 reported cases in males 12 to 17, 56 cases in males 18 to 24, and 20 cases in males 25 to 29. The rates for females were 9 per million from 12 to 17, 6 per million from 18 to 24, and 3 per million for 25 to 29. Experts continue to believe that the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the potential risks. It's important to remember that there is also a risk of heart inflammation if you get COVID along with a host of other serious problems. Back to you.